Hey, it's Brian with the Daily News Autos. This cute little thing behind me is the 2017 Jeep Renegade. Now, Jeep's actually had a pretty popular crossover on their hands for a while. It gives a lot of what people want in a relatively affordable and small package. But there's a little bit more than meets the eye with this Jeep, so I want to take it out and show you what that's all about. Now, other than the Wrangler, there's no Jeep that better exemplifies that rugged off-road look that they've become famous for than the Renegade. It's got the squared off wheel arches, some flared fenders, that big boxy overall shape, and the iconic round headlights and seven slatted grille at the front. If you're looking for a Jeep look, it's got pretty much everything you'd want. And there's lots of fun little Easter eggs all over too. From the Sarge face that's in the headlights and taillights, to the willies crawling up the corner of the windshield, and even the jerry can shaped taillights in the rear. The Easter egg theme continues on the inside as well. With the Sarge face plastered on the speaker surrounds, these bronze accents all over the cabin. Even the ignition switch has two new adventures written underneath. And it says since 1941, right prominently above the infotainment screen. Overall, there's no mistaking this car for anything but a Jeep, pretty much anywhere you look at it, from the inside or outside. Unfortunately, it all comes together to be just a little bit on the cartoonish side. Jeep has enough brand panache that they shouldn't have to hit us over the head with the fact that you're driving a Jeep. You should just know. This little Renegade is actually pretty well equipped for a small SUV, especially at the top end of the range. Chrysler's Uconnect infotainment system is actually one of my favorites for its simplicity, and in here it works just as well as it does anywhere else. You also get some fun adventure-minded options too, like these removable roof panels that you can pop up and stow in a cargo space that's underneath the rear cargo floor. Thanks to its boxy design, the cabin of the Renegade is fairly comfortable as well, at least if you don't have to sit in the rear seat. Because this Jeep is shorter than some of its competitors, the rear seat legroom is actually pretty tight, even for such a small SUV. Now, believe it or not, this boxy little Jeep is actually Italian underneath. It was co-developed with the Fiat 500X crossover, and as such, it's actually built in Italy. Now, before you let that put you off, the good thing is, a lot of the Italian character has actually eased its way into this car. The handling is really tight. The ride is pretty tight too, more like a small hatchback. When you throw it into the corners, this thing can actually handle it pretty well. Although there's a little bit of body roll if I'm honest, but then again this is a tall vehicle, and it is a Jeep SUV after all, so what do you expect? The powertrain is particularly Italian feeling as well. It's got a 2.4 liter 4 cylinder in this top tier limited trim. It makes about 180 horsepower, and it's mated to a 9 speed automatic transmission and 4 wheel drive. Now that 9 speed transmission is a little bit on the clunky side, and this engine can really get droning when you get it up into the high RPMs, but it does definitely sound Italian in nature. Like I said, the ride is on the totter side, but then again, you know, this Jeep has some sporting pretensions, so if you want something that coddles you, the Grand Cherokee, or perhaps the new Compass, which is coming out soon, will probably be a little bit more comfortable ride than this. And frankly, if there's one thing overall that's concerning about the Renegade, it's the crash test ratings. It's not recommended by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration ratings do not look so good on this car. There are very few things that are above four stars when really modern cars should be getting five, and the rear side passenger rating and the rollover rating are both at three stars, which is something that's really not acceptable in 2016, especially for a car that was developed just a few years ago. So there's a lot to like about the 2017 Renegade, Especially when it comes to character, this car has got a lot more of it than many of its competitors. But when it comes to safety, reliability, and a couple other really important metrics, it's not quite as clear-cut a winner as you might think, and that makes it a bit difficult to recommend. Well, that's all for now. I'm Brian with the Daily News Autos, and we'll see you next time.